I'm gonna be telling you about all of the obstacles mm. in Fall Guys. So first of all, let's talk about 360 Seesaw. They're circular platforms with a large cone in the middle. They act similarly to seesaws, but are able to tilt in our directions. That's why their name is 360 Seesaw. Next, let's talk about Beam. Beams are cylindrical objects that the player can cross. The player should attempt to remain in the center of the beam so as to keep balance and cross with the other side. Big Swingers Big Swingers consist of two pendulums held together by a pink and blue bar that swings back and forth. To grab the big swingers, when it swings towards you, hold the grab button. When you swing all the way to the other side, release the grab button and it will pop off in the forward direction. This obstacle can only be found in season 6 rounds. Blizzard Fans Blizzard Fans are a simple obstacle as the name suggests fan. They work exactly as a fan. They create a flow of air that pushes the player into the air. Bounce pads. Bounce pads are areas of flooring that cause the player to bounce upwards when stepped on. Bullard. It is also known as bumper or donut. It appears as moving or static obstacles that cause the player to bounce off when they are hit, which can cause the player to fall behind. Bumpers. Bumpers are one of the most common obstacles in the game and may appear in different shapes and sizes. Their aim is to make the player lose their balance when colliding with them. They are always avoidable, but they can be a loss of time if accidentally hit. Conveyor belts. Conveyor belts, as their name suggests, are conveyor belts. They usually move in the opposite side of the direction of the player, but may move sometimes in the direction of the player or from the right to the left. Door Doors are, as the name suggests, doors and are only present in DoorDash and Lost Temple. In DoorDash are presented in the groups, with some of them to be breakable and some of them not. Drawbridges they are wooden platforms which go up and down like a drawbridge. When they are horizontal, the player can pass, but when they raise, they cannot be passed. Expanding Frogs Expanding Frogs are obstacles that toggle between inflated and deflated stances. When inflating, they double in size and knock every nearby frog away from their center. Players can immediately tell if a frog is inflated by looking at increased size and open eyes. Expanding frogs are typically immobile but can rotate or even move on a set path. Fan Fans are big and slow rotating platforms which look like a fan or a big windmill rotating blade. Fences They're small obstacles that allow objects to pass through underneath and can be jumped over. Pinball flippers Pinball flippers are used to launch players. Horse fields there are transcular walls or platforms that emit a light blue light. They are patterned with various futuristic symbols like rockets and planets. Gate They can be presented in rows and their main function is to go up and down. Jump ropes They come in single and double variants. They can knock players down if they hit them. Light rods Light rods are solid bars which move up and down, letting or not letting the players pass. If the player hits them, he will be knocked off as they were electrical. Light swingers Light swingers swing back and forth in a given direction. The light swinger looks like two small dark blue pendulums held together by a pink laser that does not eliminate you but it still needs to be jumped over. Lily pads, also known as drums, are pads that can be bounced on, sending the player moving in the direction that the pad is facing. Log swing, log swings are large, pink cylindrical logs suspended by ropes. They usually swing back and forth and are quite similar to thick bonkers with important differences. They are larger, slower and it is possible to walk on them. Moving blocks. Moving blocks are as the name suggests, rectangular blocks which move from one point to another. Pendulums. Pendulums are swinging balls, swinging in a direction which can hit the player and throw him away or make him lose his balance. Pirate platforms. Pirate platforms tilt back and forth, similarly to a seesaw. However, the tilting is not controlled by players, instead, the platforms periodically rotate into one position and then pause in one place before rotating back. Punching Glove Punching gloves are as the name may suggest, red, big, 
punching gloves which come out of a box and punch the players aside or upper depending on which direction they face. Their box is green with a red and white texture. Rhino Rhinos are large mechanical rhinosauruses found on certain levels. They largely resemble real-life rhinoceros aside from certain features such as wheels and tank threads in the place of legs and metal parts. Rhinoceros wander around almost aimlessly, similarly to a pygmy, but will from time to time target a specific player and will either charge at them, knocking them away a considerable distance. Ringles Dingles sounds weird, but these are swinging pendulums, but with a different color scheme and design. This swing and possibly hit the players. Rolling projectile and thrown projectile. It is meant everything that is thrown at the player with the intention of making them lose their balance and interrupt their way to the goal. These projectiles can be balls, fruits, or logs and are thrown with a different speed depending on the game. Rotating beam. Rotating beams are colored beams which with the central burn rotate in a certain direction. Their hit can launch the player far away. Rotating hammer. Rotating hammers are as the name suggests static pink rotating hammers depending upon the size. When they hit the player they can cause him to lose his balance or to fly away. Rotating wall. Rotating walls are constantly spinning walls with two holes. Seesaw. Seesaws are clear platforms which act like seesaws. Depending on where and how heavy the weight is, they tilt either right or left. They are the main challenge of the game seesaw which is named after them. Slime slide. Slime slides are blue and orange tubes with slime covering its interior. They usually can be reached by going through an entrance shaped like a face with angry eyes and an open mouth. Players can jump into slime slides to gain a boost in speed but may also slow down if they can stick to their winning path. Flippers Flippers are square panels which when the players get on them, flip them in a certain direction. Speed Bump Speed bumps are short, colorful bumps with patterns drawn on them. They're found on the ground and slow player movements somewhat. Speed ring. Speed rings are golden gateway looking rings, many of which are attached to the ground. They provide players who walk through them with a temporary speed boost. Spike log. Spike logs are large static cylinders crossed by a moving spikes. So far, these obstacles are only present in Night Fever. Spinning Blade Spinning blades are pink and fast rotating blades only featured in the game really good. Spinning Blade Spinning blades are round platforms that constantly rotate in a certain direction, indicated by the arrows in their te texture. In its center, there's usually a spinning pink and white ball which is useless for the gameplay. Swinging X Differently from pendulums, they do a complete loop and don't just swing from the right to the left. Pick Bonkers Think Bonkerses are really giant swinging spiny cylinders which overwhelm every player who passes. Due to their size, they swing quite slow so the player has time to pass before they come back. Turnstile Turnstiles are static but can be rotated when the players push them. Vacuum Tube Vacuum tubes are large tubes that suck in players and launch them out the other end. Vacuum tubes are one way. You cannot enter a vacuum tube from its exit. The exit of a vacuum tube pushes players away, similar to a blizzard fan. And now time for the last obstacle called Yeetus. Yeetuses are special rotating hammers. It is an optional obstacle which can be used to get thrown to long distances. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching and subscribe.